Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It is Simon the Watch Guy. How has everyone been? I have not done a video for quite some time. That's because I've got a couple of issues. Uh, I purchased a high-end watch. I purchased a Cartier tank. Uh, it's actually broken on me, guys. The watch is broken. Uh, I'm in touch with Cartier trying to get that fixed. So that that's hopefully explains why I've been away for a while. But today, I'm going to jump straight into this. I am going to bring you this fantastic, this beautiful, seriously beautiful watch. I also went out and purchased this one as well, guys. Yes, it's been a bit of a watch bonanza, uh, citizen watch bonanza for that matter. The Promaster Tough, I ended up buying it in the um, stainless steel, stainless steel bracelet. Um, I do have the black version on the Cordura strap, which I'm not going to get right now for this video. We're going to focus on the Nighthawk. So here goes. Oh, guys, you've got no idea. The model number for this one is BJ7000-52E. Why did I want this watch? Well, first of all, it comes with a really cool box. You guys know I love these boxes, even if no one else does. It's got the words uh, Citizen branded right there. And when you actually open this up, how do we do this? I've forgotten. There we go. And if we take away this, we've got it nicely sort of embossed uh, in there. It actually stands out. It's actually kind of like a rubbery uh, citizen logo. Beautiful. I love it. I love I, I love things like this. I appreciate not everybody cares. Uh, I do. I think presentation-wise, I think that's the sign of a good quality company when they, they care not just about the watch, the product, the longevity, but they actually care about how they present it to you. So let's dive straight into this one, guys. This is a 41 millimeter watch. Thickness, we're looking at 12 millimeters. It does look a little bit thicker. It does look thicker. If I get the Promaster Tough and I sort of try my best. Let me see if I can place them on top of one another. The Promaster Tough looks a lot thinner, a lot smaller. So uh, make of that what you will guys. It doesn't... I thought it was going to make a big difference. I thought that the Pilot's Watch was going to be too big. It's quite, quite deep in the case because you've got this uh, rotating slide rule which we'll come back to but let's carry on with the specs we're looking at eco drive power it says eco drive there let me just focus the camera it says eco drive it's a nighthawk it says nighthawk this is the american model what does that mean well it means that on the back here this is not engraved or embossed into the case back it's kind of just a a, a rather basic case back there which I don't really mind too much because it does sit on the back of your wrist so it's not a huge issue however there is a European version which has a fantastic really beautifully um, engraved um, case back we are looking at a solid mineral crystal which does actually jut out just a little bit I would probably be a little bit worried if I caught it, but hey, who knows, maybe it would take the the punishment. I've seen reviews on YouTube, there's one guy who's had this 15 years, and he says he's put it through its paces, and he hasn't had a day's trouble. So, really speaks to the quality of Citizen, and you guys know, the past couple of videos have been about Citizen, so... You know, I've got a lot of love for Bulliver, who are owned by Citizen. Citizen are the biggest watch company in the world. And really, it's no surprise why, because they offer such good quality products. Really, actually affordable prices. This thing cost me just about 230 uh, US dollars. I obviously had to uh, convert that into pounds, which is maybe, I don't know, 180, 185 pounds, plus you have to pay import tax. Um, but hey, you know, that's definitely recommended something about this watch that you need to know it's a pilot watch if you look at the bracelet here you can see that again attention to detail the links they're shaped like airplane wings how fantastic is this it really really does stand out I, I mean 
A few people have said to me, oh, it's got a really busy dial. I'm not sure if I like the dial. But they love this GMT uh, sort of hand here, the extra, t which we'll cover. We'll come back to that in just a second. But when you tell people about the... Let me just focus again. When you tell people about these links that the shapes like airplanes, people get it. People just get it. Could this be the best pilot to watch ever? Maybe it could, guys. You're looking at a stainless steel band anyway. It's got those three layers there, okay? So if I flip this round, you've got the kind of standard. If you've ever seen a Citizen, you've kind of got a three-piece lock. So one, two, and three. And it's nice and secured. And if you want to take that off, all you do is you pull out this bit here. And it's still secured, but if you push the butterfly clasp here, it will open up nicely for you. So, nice construction. I think they've probably saved a little bit of cash when you compare it to the Promaster Tough's um, bracelet. The Promaster Tough does feel a bit stronger, but that does have a coating on. This is just, you know, basic stainless steel. It does the job. It works. Why, you know, don't, don't change what isn't broken. Let me flip that around. Uh, additional features, it does have a low power indicator, so this should tick, I think, maybe twice, uh, sorry, once every two seconds, something like that, if the battery ever gets that low. Do bear in mind, these use batteries now, they don't use capacitors anymore, Citizen have made the EcoDrive models last between 20 and 40 years, perfect. Solar powered, solar panel, you can barely see it, they've got fantastic, it really making it as one as part of the dial so it just doesn't even look like a solar panel but that is that actually there that's your solar panel you've got a date function which is actually big enough if you compare that to the promaster tough you can see instantly that the citizen nighthawk has a slightly ever so slightly bigger date in fact i'm looking at it now and i'm just wondering does it maybe it's the same but because they've put a bigger outline, it kind of hones in on it more. It makes it look bigger. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they are the same. What do you guys think? Anyway, moving on. You do have loom on this watch. So um, I, can't, I can't really show you this right now, actually, because I'm using my phone to record this. Uh, let me see if we can, guys. Let me see if we can. Because I don't want you to miss out on, on the loom. I'm going to use... Uh, another phone, so that's just broad daylight. Let me shine just a basic torch. I'm just shining a basic torch on it now. I just want you to know that the loom does last all night on the watch, so it lasts for a good maybe 10 hours or so. Just while I'm charging this for loom, you've got 200 meters of water resistance, 660 feet. Uh, let's see if that does anything at all. Yeah, you can just about make out there, guys, that. The loom does last all night if you, you know, you, you do catch this in the sun or you shine a light on it before you go to bed. Really useful. Finally, the slide rule. You can do all kinds of calculations on here. Uh, really interesting to know. I don't know how to use it yet. I need to figure this out. It's quite confusing. And then finally, the GMT hand zone. When you, you can set two time zones on this. So right now, you're looking at the big hands here. Uh, this is UK time. If you're looking at the red plane and the white plane, they spin around the dial. The red plane is the hours in the PM and the white plane is hours in the AM. I have this set to Hong Kong time because I know friends in that time zone. So it's really useful for me because right now we're looking at, it is in the evening for them, it is 8, no, 7.20, 7.40. I can't read it properly, 740. Okay, when that hand goes round, that's gonna change and we'll be coming up to eight o'clock in their time zone. So once again, that red plane, it's just before the 20, so it's obviously seven. And then we use the minute hand from our first time zone because the minutes is always the same. And yeah, we are at just about 740 p.m. in Hong Kong time as I record this. So. It's really cool, guys. This is a really cool watch. Highly recommended. 
Um, it does have a screw down crown. Uh, this on the left isn't screwed down, but Citizen assure you it's 200 meter waterproof. If you're thinking of buying this one, do yourself a favor, definitely go ahead and buy it. It is a fantastic watch. I'm struggling to take it off. Uh, and just before we end out the video, let me show you this on my wrist. So I do have, guys, a 7.25-inch wrist. That's how it looks on me. I'm just going to zoom out just so you can see more of my arm. That's how it looks on me. 7.25-inch wrist. I think it fits really well. Actually, I think it fits perfectly. I don't think that could fit any better. Bear in mind, this is a 41 millimeter case diameter on a 7.25 inch wrist. I just think it's fine. Yeah, perfect. Not a problem. It's quite legible. So I am happy with this watch. In the next episode, if you want to call them an episode, uh, we will be looking at the Pro Master Tough again, but this time not in the black Cordura. We're going to look at it in stainless steel and see what I think about it. I've worn this now for maybe two or three months, so I've got a massive amount to say about this watch, a lot to say about it. So we'll come back to that one in future episodes. But right now, guys, again, these are starting to get rare. I'm not entirely sure if these red versions are in production anymore. So if you do want to get them and you don't want the Blue Angels version, definitely pick one of these up before it's too late because I know these were one of Citizen's best-selling watches, but if you guys wait too long, I just think you're going to regret it, guys. I think the price could eventually eventually go up on these things. And, I mean, don't buy them just on the hope. These might never go up in price. Who knows? But if you don't buy one, you could miss out. You just might not get hold of one. So go ahead and uh, definitely take the plunge. I don't get any commission. I've got no links to take commission. I purchase all of these myself, and then I just give you my raw, honest thoughts. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a beautiful watch. Just one more thing to say about the about the red and white plane. The way they work is that the red plane spins around, and when that goes past the 24 after midnight, the white plane then takes over as you go into the morning hours, all the way through till midday at which point the red plane spins back round, and again, so you've got two time zones on the face, fantastic. I can actually tell three time zones, I've got a friend in Germany, and they are plus one from the UK, so I can instantly work that out, and I've got the Hong Kong time, so I can tell three different time zones just from looking um, at this face. So yeah, Definitely a great watch. Thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned, subscribe, like the video, comment. I love hearing all the comments. And we will be back in the next few episodes with this Pro Master Tough. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.